Sir William Adams, born on the 24th of September 1564 in Gillingham, Kent, England, was an accomplished shipwright, navigator, astrologer, and scholar. At the age of 12, after his father, who was also a shipwright, tragically passed away, William devoted his life to his father's work under the tutelage of Nicholas Diggins. He spent the next 12 years mastering the craft of shipbuilding as well as being a studious member of society. At 24, William joined the Royal Navy, serving under one of history's most famous leaders, none other than Sir Francis Drake. Ten years after his service, William set his sight far east to set up a trading route with Japan. In 1598, five ships set sail. The hope, the love, the faith, the loyalty, and the gospel. The journey was arduous. And after two long, blight-filled years, the ships that set sail from the Dutch Isle of Texel barely managed to make landfall. In fact, after all was said and done, the Love was the last remaining ship, and the only one to make it to Japan. Even then, the Love was not without loss, as of the some 100 crew members, only 23 survived. Even still, upon arrival, the men were imprisoned because they were thought to be pirates by the locals. The daimyo and future shogun Tokugawa Iyasu imprisoned them for six months. In these six months, Tokugawa spent interrogating William, instead of outright hanging him and his men. Upon interrogation, Tokugawa took a liking to William and his sharp mind. William and his men were released not long after. William then served Tokugawa for what would be the rest of his life. His smarts did not go unnoticed by the young shogun-to-be. It didn't take long for William to be Tokugawa's right-hand man, having numerous successful trading routes and diplomatic amenities. Soon, William was made an official and the very first ever Western Samurai. And with this honor, the discarding of his old name, William Adams was no more. Miura Anjin was born henceforth. William's effect on this time period could not be understated. William kindled a new Western interest and relation with Eastern countries like the world had never seen before. Although he did not participate in many battles, personally he was instrumental in skirmishes that would lead Tokugawa to shogunhood. Sir William Anjin Adams would eventually die at the age of 55 on May 16th, 1620. He was succeeded by four children, two back home in England and two, Joseph and Susanna, from Japan. And that's it. That's a brief and compressed history of Sir William Adams. Of course, the story of Neo is embellished, but the main groundwork is there. The 1600s were a great time of turmoil for Japan, nay, the world, and William Adams made a name for himself even in all the noise. This isn't an example of a game being whitewashed, as it were. The game is made by Japanese developers and is steeped in Japanese lore and culture. The main character just happened to be a historical depiction of a Western Englishman who played an important role in the 17th century Japan. I love doing this piece and I want to do more, covering other historical characters such as Hitori Hanzo, as well as all the yokai and guardian spirits that appear in the game, so look forward to that in the coming weeks and months. My name is Cassius Kent, this has been Neo Lore, and until next time, beware, there be monsters.